This is the camera shootout of the best value Samsung phone today featuring Samsung Galaxy A54 versus the year old Samsung Galaxy S21 Fan Edition. Let's go to work. First, let's talk about the colors of these two phones. Both of them has the same image quality. They are Samsung-like colors, which means they are saturated and bright. Both Samsung Galaxy A54 and Samsung Galaxy S21 Fan Edition has vivid colors, but Galaxy A54 is tad colorful than last year's budget flagship S21 FE. On some shots, A54 is actually warmer too, but on a blind test, you wouldn't problem the difference between the two. Checking it side by side, it's too close for you to know which is which. I bet you wouldn't know the difference. Checking all three sensors from wide and ultra wide, colors are consistent. A54 is a bigger resolution. That's why I can use digital crop without losing the image quality. This is a tie for me. Let's test the video stabilization and 4K recording of these two phones. And this is Samsung Galaxy A54. And as you can see, it is shaky. There's no video stabilization on 4K recording. Well, this is Samsung Galaxy S21 FE, and as the model implies, this is a budget flagship phone which means the stabilization will be as good as the flagship competition. Colors are good too. I think in terms of video recording, you can feel that the Samsung Galaxy S21 Fan Edition is more premium than Samsung Galaxy A54. Next is flaring, and for your information before I did this comparison test, I cleaned up the lenses of these two phones, and Galaxy A54 has flaring on both ultra-wide and main sensor. For the sake of equal comparison, let's try the super steady mode of these two phones, because video stabilization is not existing on A54, this phone performs really well with super steady on. While on Samsung Galaxy S21 F, you don't really need super steady on, the main sensor will punch in even more, so you need to use a monopod for extension, but it is crazy good. And the advantage of Samsung Galaxy S21 Fan Edition is ultra wide, it has super steady on as well, and both phones will stoop down to full HD resolution. Looking at highlights, we're shooting this gas station, and if we check the logo, you would see that S21 Fan Edition is clearer. You can read it Circle K. In terms of cleaning up the noise, again, the flagship phone will probably be better than the mid-ranger, and it shows on this comparison as well. You just saw the pathway that we are using for the stabilization and video test. This is the ultra-wide lens of Samsung Galaxy A54, 4K 30fps, and again, Stabilization is non-existing. And this is Samsung Galaxy S21 Fan Edition. It's not as wide as Samsung Galaxy A54. If you like to vlog using a phone and you're on a budget, then go with this phone. And this is Samsung Galaxy S21 Fan Edition UHD or 4K 60 FPS. If you like this type of camera comparison video, don't forget to subscribe. Next is exposure and dynamic range and Samsung Galaxy S21 Fan Edition is killing the competition. It is brighter and has better dynamic range. In terms of close focus, Samsung Galaxy A54 has a dedicated macro lens for those close-up shots. And checking the white balance, I cannot say one is warmer than the other. This is a tie for me. The Samsung Galaxy A54 has macro capability and 50 megapixel sensor. Well, Samsung Galaxy S21 Fan Edition has 3 times optical zoom and has a better reach of 30 times. So let's talk about the megapixel and the reach. Samsung Galaxy A54 has 50 megapixel main sensor. And if we shoot the 50 megapixel 4x3 and zoom it in, you will see that the image is softer compared to the over-sharpened S21 Fan Edition. While the advantage of S21 FE is the reach, it has 3x optical zoom that can make the subject closer without sacrificing the quality. This is the video zoom capability of these two phones. And as you can see, Samsung Galaxy S21 Fan Edition is doing pretty good on ultra-wide and main sensor. But if you go on the digital zoom, Samsung Galaxy A54 is better because it's using digital crop and not optical sensor. So there's more room for the software to stabilize the footage. In terms of speed, the Samsung Galaxy S21 Fan Edition has a flagship processor, the Snapdragon 888. Well, interestingly, Samsung Galaxy A54 has a more premium build with all glass. This is the slow motion test of these two phones. And this is the super slow motion. 
S21 FE is lower but noisier. Checking the sharpness starting with the ultra wide lens, and this is the Waterloo or the weakness of Samsung Galaxy A54, the quality of the image is not that sharp. While looking at the main sensor and the zoom capability of these two phones, they are pretty consistent, both of them are tack sharp. In terms of details, if you look on this brick and if you zoom in, we will see that the 50 megapixel sensor of Samsung Galaxy A54 provides more details than Samsung Galaxy S21 Fan Edition. This is the selfie video recording 4K 30fps of Samsung Galaxy A54 and again, because it's a mid-range, Samsung will not give you the best quality video for the price. While well, for Samsung Galaxy S21 Fan Edition, this is also the weakness of this phone because this is a budget flagship, Samsung didn't give this a stabilized 4K selfie recording. Checking the portrait mode of these two phones, Samsung Galaxy A54 has great edge detection and it also produces bokeh balls on the background, which is really nice. If you're holding both phones, it will do just fine, but if you're using a monopod to shoot yourself and you're using a timer, you would see that the autofocus on S21 Fan Edition is faster compared to A54. It's only using face detection autofocus, while S21 FE is using dual pixel autofocus. You will notice that the image on the A54 is a little blurry. Also, S21 Fan Edition can also use the 3x optical zoom for portrait mode, and that gives you around 50mm looking portrait shots. And if you look at the selfie portrait, again, S21 FE is more detailed compared to A54. On night shots, I will give this a tie on these two phones and I will explain this. The main sensor of Samsung Galaxy A54 is superior than Samsung Galaxy S21 FE. It is brighter and it exposes the darker area of the image better. But if you use the ultra wide lens of these two phones, as we all know, A54 ultra wide is inferior compared to S21 FE. So it will be in reverse of the condition. S21 FE is brighter and it will expose the darker image better. So this is a tie for me. This is a side by side low light selfie video recording of these two phones. And although noisier, Samsung Galaxy S21 FE is better. While using the main sensor, it's a different story. Samsung Galaxy A54 is brighter, cleaner, and has better contrast compared to S21 FE. Take a look. And lastly, versatility. Both has ultra wide and wide. And although Samsung Galaxy A54 has macro lens, Samsung Galaxy S21 Fan Edition has a dedicated 3x optical zoom and can zoom in up to 30 times digitally. So this is the ultimate camera shootout of Samsung Galaxy S21 Fan Edition versus Samsung Galaxy A54. Let's do a recap. Samsung Galaxy A54 is more saturated, has macro lens, 50 megapixel main sensor, better stabilization on zoom, more detailed photos, and better low light video on the main sensor. While Samsung Galaxy S21 Fan Edition has better stabilization in 4K, manages the flaring better, manages the highlights better, cleans up the noise better, has 4K 60fps, better exposure and dynamic range, 3 times optical zoom, better slow motion, superior ultra wide lens, better portrait mode, better selfie low light video, and 30 times zoom. Two great budget Samsung phones, but as always, this is a question of the newest mid range versus older flagship. Remember that the older flagship has higher price tag before because it offers more in terms of quality and camera performance. And because there's only a year difference between the two, with everything considered, I think Samsung Galaxy S21 Fan Edition is superior. And there you go. Hope you enjoyed this video. I'll continue to compare these two phones in our channel, so stay tuned. And as always, thank you guys for watching and I'll see you in the next one.